Well, good afternoon, everybody. Camila here. Welcome back to my channel, and I am back with another video. I told you guys I have a lot of content, and I will be coming through with more videos, and here I am. So today's video is a cumulative empties video. The last empties video I did was on candles and Bath and Body Works items. Uh, this video is going to be a cumulative video on empties and it's gonna have candles, wax melts, food items, beauty products, and so forth. So let's go ahead and get into this video because it might be long. So starting off with two wax melts from the brand American Home. They are from the brand by the Yankee Candle Company. You can find these at your local Walmart for $5 and the throw on these were absolutely fabulous. Um, then I have Sensational Wax Melts. You can also find these at your local Walmart. These cost $2 and they will be in the same area that you find the American Home. Um, and the throw on these were good as well for $2. The, especially this Egyptian cotton is absolutely wonderful. The cold throw is just as good as the warm throw. And so is um, the pink throw, but this was a good scent to the cold and the warm throw were good as well then i have one two i have two from the better homes collection these are also at walmart these are two dollars as well i have branded peach cobbler and orange buttercream cupcake i like the orange buttercream cupcake better you can definitely smell orange in this one. Next, I have two wax melts from Bed Bath & Beyond. I used a 20% off coupon. They retail for $2.99, but like I said, I used a coupon. And this is from the Ambisense collection from Bath & Bed Bath & Beyond. And I have the scent sugar cookies and eucalyptus and sea salt. And The sugar cookies I like the best out of the two. The warm throw was just as good as the cold throw and the eucalyptus and sea salt it was okay. I probably give this about a five as far as uh, the warm throw but the cold throw was good. I get that about an eight. Next I have three candle melts from the brand Scentsy. I was not impressed with neither of the with none of these. Um, I have Honeymoon Hideaway, I have Shaka, and I have Shimmer. The cold throws on these were good. I give them about a seven, but the warm throw on these were at a, a zero. I give them a fail. The warm, the cold throw is better than the warm throw. Last but not least of the wax melts, I have. Four from the Mainstay Collection at Walmart, and these these are from the Mainstay Collection, and these cost 93 cents. I have Garden Rain. I have Blackberry, Blackberry Cherry, Black Cherry. I have Wild Honeysuckle. This is my fave. A 10 for the warm and the cold throw, and then I have Fresh Cotton. Um, this comes in second. The garter ring comes in third, and then the black cherry wax melt come in fourth. But out of all the wax melt, these 93 cent ones are bomb.com. Go get you some. Walmart. Moving into the candles, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five candles from Bath and Body Works. This is the Pomelo Paradise. This particular candle didn't come with a cap. It comes with the cardboard cover. This was good. The throw on this, since it's been a while, is, I give it about an eight between warm and cold. The next one is fresh. This was a good one too. Um, the notes on this is enjoy a fragrance inspired by throwing open the windows on a pro perfect spring day with a blend of breezy air notes, blue water, and a hit of citrus. This was a good candle. 
I give it about an eight on warm and cold throw. Um, Sunshine, bright verbena blossoms. This was okay. I give it a five on warm and cold throw. White sands. This had more of a perfumey scent. Um, it was okay, but it wasn't all right. Um, I give it about a six on cold and warm throw. Then I have caramel woods. This was very strong. When I say strong, this was very strong. Um, I can only burn it the minimum of 30 and the max of an hour because the, the throw was so strong on it. Um, would I repurchase this one? No, because like I said, the strong was the throw was so strong on this one. Um, and then I have a candle from the Sonoma brand from Kohl's. And this is in the scent Vel Pink Velvet Cupcake. This one was okay. Um, the pink, I mean the cold throw was about a seven and the warm throw was about a five. So I wasn't very impressed with this one. Um, and then I have a mainstay uh, candle from Walmart as well. This one is called Soothing Spa. Um, the cold throw I give a seven and the warm throw I give a zero. I wasn't impressed with this one. Okay, moving on to some of my food products. Um, I have several, I have two containers of Minute Maid. One is watermelon and one is strawberry lemonade. My absolute fave is the watermelon. I can drink this all day, but it has so much sugar, but I love this one. And then strawberry lemonade is okay, but this is my favorite, the watermelon. And you can find those at Walmart for $1.50. Next, I have some chips. These are from Sensible Portions. These are the Garden and Bessie chips with sea salt. I absolutely love these. I can eat these in place of potato chips anytime, any day of the week. Next, I have some veggie tots from Green Giant. Green Giant, they are the broccoli and cheese. These are better than tater tots. I'm telling you, pop these in the stove. I mean, not the stove, pop these in the oven. Serve them to your kids. They would never know this is broccoli and cheese. These are better than tater tots. Um, you can find these also at Walmart in the frozen section, and they're also on my floor. Um, next, I have vitamins, and these are the hair, skin, and nail gummies from, what brand is this? Nature's Bounty. I love these. I buy them over and over again. You can find these at your local Sam's Club, and I'm pretty sure they have them at Costco's. I do believe I paid $13 for this one at Sam's Club. It could be $20. I'm not for sure, but these are awesome for hair, nails, and skin. Next, I have more vitamins. These are calcium chews from the brand Vitafusion. You can get these also from Walmart. I'm not Walmart. You get them from Walmart, but you can also get them from Sam's Club. I get them two in a pack at Sam's Club. And these are $15 at Sam's Club for two, I think. I'm not for sure. But you can also buy it in the single from Sam's Club. Not Sam's Club, but from Walmart. Next, I have one, two... three um, protein shakes. I have two caramel, two caramel, uh, I'm sorry, two cafe caramel shakes from the brand Atkins. I love these. Um, pop them in the refrigerator and drink them cold and oh my god and it has the right amount of caffeine in them and it has, let's see, 15 grams of protein and three grams of carb. These are awesome. They come in a four pack. I also have one in 
the strawberry flavor as well. And like I said, 15 grams of protein, one carb, one sugar, and one net carb in this one. No, this one has two, two carbs, I'm sorry. But these are good. Atkins are good. And then also another protein shake I like is from GNC, and it's the GNC brand. Um, moving right along, I have some cotton puffs. I bought these from Dazo. I like these. I love these. These are better than the puffs from Walmart, the puffs from CVS, and Walgreens because with these, you can put your toner or whatever product you want on them and it doesn't fall apart or leave the white stuff from the cotton pad on your face. These are excellent. These are $1.50 at Daiso Japan. If you have one in your area. Um, next food next food product is from the brand Pastaroni. And I have the Fettuccine Alfredo. Put you some shrimp in here and you have yourself a meal. And it takes three to five minutes for this to cook. Awesome, awesome. A meal in a pinch. Um, next I have, let's see, I have a hair hair powder. This is from Macadamia Natural. This is a conditioner with natural oils. Deep, it's a deep repair mask. I love this brand. I love this product. I picked this up from TJ Maxx for $19.99. Next, I have one. I have two lotions. I have one from the brand Suave Smoothing with cocoa butter and shea. I use this for my hands and then I also have Vita Bath Moisturizing Lotion. I picked this up from Ulta, but I like this one better. And then when I buy them this small, I pretty much use these for my hands. Next, I have Air Freshener Fresh Jasmine, Fresh Fresh Shea and Jasmine from Airwick for your bathroom or wherever you want to spray it. Love this one. Fresh scent from Jasmine. Um, uh, some face products. Let's see. From several different brands. Yes. Um, so I have the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. As you can see, I loved it so much. This is from Queen Helene. This is a mint julep mask. It helps dry up acne pimples, rinse away black clays, and shrink in large pores. As you can see, I loved it so much, I cut the top off. This is a good product. This, um, they changed the, the packaging of it. You can find this at Walmart for $3 or your local beauty supply store. This is comparable to Lush. I can't think of the name of it. To Lush's. There's a mask at Lush that this is comparable to. But this is a good product. I do have a backup that I'm currently using right now. Um, this is Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Scrub Oil Free. It has beads in it to help exfoliate. This is an okay product. I basically picked this up for traveling purposes. Um, and then I have uh, a night cream moisturizer from the brand Botanics. Boots Botanics is the re replenishing night cream age difference with protective ginkgo. You can find this at your local Target. I also have the Biore Charcoal Mask Pore Minimizer. This was okay. You can, I picked this up from Target, I do believe. If you don't find it at Target, I'm pretty sure you can find it at Walmart or Ulta. 
Next, I have a Super Cleanse Daily Clearing Cleanser from Glam Glow. I picked this up at the at Sephora in the little uh, sample area. It was okay. I'm going to continue to try more cleansing products from different brands. Um, next, I have a Mario Badusco Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. And I picked this up from Ulta. Next, I have three products that I am in love with. I love the brand. Um, I will continue to purchase from the brand. Um, I'm currently using another product by one of the brands. Um, but yeah, absolute favorite products. High end, very expensive. But anyway, I have the firming and lifting neck cream from the brand Alginus. You can find this at either Ulta um, or Sephora. It's, and it's awesome. This, this is an awesome brand. I think I paid $96 for this, but it came in a set. And I used the face soap. This is the neck firming and this is the firming and lifting neck cream. I also had the firming face cream, but I used that one up. But yeah, it came in a set. The, the firming, the neck cream and the face cream together was $96. And then I have the Peter Thomas Roth on wrinkle fast acting serum. Awesome product, awesome product. I can't remember how much I paid for this, but you can find this brand at Sephora. Next, I have the Peter Thomas Roth Ultralight Oil-Free Moisturizing Moisturizer. Also at, also at Sephora. And you can get this at Ulta too. You can find both. You can find Peter Thomas Roth and Alginus at both Sephora and Ulta. Um, then I have Two deodorants from Secret. It's the Clinical Strength. I have the Clear Gel in Lavender, and then I have another Clear Lab, another Clear Gel in Ooh La La Lavender. Love Secret. Love this deodorant. I do have a, I do have one in my uh, medicine cabinet, but I absolutely love these Love Secret products. Next, I have some Altoids. These, these were good. I love Altoids. I buy them two and three at a time, but I love Altoids. And I have two more hair care products. I have the Shea Oil to help split ends, restores moisture, fights breakage, soothes scalps, and protects from weather from the brand Hollywood Beauty. I got this from either Walmart or Sally's can't remember but it's from one of the two and then I also have another one it's called macadamia oil first fighter non-greasy absorbs quickly moisturizes and strengthens and leaves hair smooth like I said I either got it from Sally's or Walmart can't remember but good product and then I have some package items. I have a burrito. No, what is this? I don't know. I have this. I got it from the clearance rack at Ulta. It's a smoothie for your skin. I didn't particularly care for it, but it did the job. Next, I have a Curls Unleashed Curl Defining Cream with Shea Butter and Honey from ORS uh, I was trying to do the whole natural thing didn't work out for me so but yeah I tried it um, I don't know what to say about the product because I don't feel that it curled and defined my hair at all and then I have some Olay Hendrickson Nurture Me Cleansing Cloths for makeup removing these are great I like these I have another small pack as well especially these are good for traveling it comes with 10 in the pack. Next items I have are the 
the next items I have are two, four, six. I have six bath gels from Bath and Body Works. I have Ice Tangerine Mojito. It was okay. I have Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea. Loved it. I have Gardenia and Fresh Rain. Loved it. Snowflakes and Cashmere. This is a uh, more of a musky scent, but still I like loved liked it. And then I have another one from the Christmas collection called Fresh Smart Fresh Sparkling Snow. Awesome. Then I have Sweet Pea, a fave. I also have the lotion to go with it. And then in here I have more products. Um, I have two peanut butters from Jiffy. I have the maple and then I have the cinnamon peanut butter. Love both of them. Put these on your toes, your crackers, your graham crackers, celery sticks. Awesome. Next I have... I have one, I have a Quest Craving Protein Peanut Butter Cups. I got these on sale at uh, GNC. I did not like this. I might as well just go and eat a regular Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, but I did not like these. Next, I have um, more veggie chips, and this is from the brand Mediterranean Snacks. Love these. I love these veggie chips. Then I have a pizza. I have oops, I have a pizza from Real Good Pizza Company. And this pizza is made from chicken. The crust is chicken. Expensive pizza, but it's good. Um lastly I have Two yogurts. I have Carb Master and Pineapple Coconut from Kroger. I picked this up from Ralph's. I did not like this. It has a, I didn't like the aftertaste of this one. And then my favorite protein yogurt is from YoPlay. It's Greek 100% 100 protein. It has 14 grams of protein and 11 grams of carbs. This is my favorite. I like all the flavors from this brand Yo Play Greek 100 protein with the exception of banana. I don't like bananas. Absolutely not. Anyway, like I told you guys, um, I'm going to keep these videos coming. I want to thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video and I know in the last video I told you I'm going to get that Ulta haul up. I'm getting there but like I said I have so much content to get out there and so little time but anyway thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe down subscribe button down below hit that gray bell that will alert you to any new videos that I put up once again thank you have a beautiful Saturday and I hope to see you in the next video bye